I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw a backpack. I take two fingers on the left in the center and I put a dot. And from that dot, I'm going to draw a straight line over to right about here and stop. I'm going to draw the things you would have in your backpack for school. So first we're going to do straight line down, little straight line over, straight line down, connect. And inside, I'm just going to draw some little straight lines on the inside of that rectangle. I come right next to it. I'm going to draw a straight diagonal down, straight diagonal down, zigzag across. Right here on the left, I draw a straight line down, connect, and a straight line down, connect. At the tip, I'm just going to color in a little portion of that. Right next to this, I draw another straight line, straight line, straight line, connect, another rectangle. On top, I'm going to draw another straight line, straight line, straight line, connect. Next to that, I'm going to draw straight line, straight line, straight line, connect. And I'm going to come back up to the left corner and draw a curved line up and over, connect. Now, we're going to draw an overlap. So I've drawn all these sections here. Now I'm going to draw another rectangle, but I can't see all of it because bam, it crashes into other parts of my drawing. I come back up to the top and I draw a straight diagonal and then a slightly wavy line down. Inside, I'm going to just draw a rectangle and put a dot, dot, and a curved line. On the end, I'm going to do curved lines, and then I'm going to leave that alone, because right next to this, I'm going to draw another straight line, straight line, straight line down, connect. In front of it, curve line in, curve line down, connect, on top, straight line, straight line, straight line, connect. Little curve line up, down, connect. Now I come back inside this space and I'm going to mimic these lines all the way down. And at the very center, I'm going to put a little baby circle. Next to that, I'm just going to draw a skinny rectangle, straight line, straight line, straight line, and another straight line, straight line on top. Now I go back to the left, right here at this point, and I draw a curved line down, over, up, and connect. And right here at this point, I draw another curved line down, straight line over, connect. I come up on top, right here, I'm going to draw a curve line over, keep going, curve line down, keep going, straight line, curve line, connect, and up on the top, I'm just going to draw a curve line, and a little curve line inside, and over here on the right, I'm just going to draw a curve line down, curve line in, connect. I come on this side and I'm just going to inside going to add little straight lines all the way up and over. I'm going to come up on my handle and draw some little straight lines up and over. And on this section, I'm just going to draw some little straight lines up and down. Okay, I think that's all. Let's see how we're going to color. Oops, I forgot something I always do. Starting on the top part, let's draw another curve line down and over. There we go. Now we're ready to color. Okay, the first thing I'm going to color is I'm going to do 
my backpack flap light green, yellow green with a loop-de-loop -loop over and over color. Okay? Then I'm going to come back on this section of my backpack and I'm going to color this light green also. Okay? Then I'm going to take my regular green oops always forgetting something. I'm going to color my handle up here yellow green or light green. Okay? Now I'm going to take my regular green and I'm just going to loop-de-loop -loop this space. I'm going to loop-de-loop -loop this space all the way up and over and I'm going to use this color green to do the interior of my backpack space so that you can see that it's opened up to all the little materials. Okay? You can use any color you want. This is just the colors that I use. So you can do any color combination you want. Okay. The first thing I do is over here I'm going to color my ruler purple just for fun. I'm going to make my pencil. I'm going to make that yellow. And I'm going to make this pencil yellow. And on top I'm going to do a pink eraser. And I'm going to take a light brown for my pencil top. Okay. Next to that, I'm going to take orange and I'm going to color. This is a crayon box. So this is for my crayons. Very important. And for my big notebook, I'm going to color this yellow also. All of these things you can do your own colors. Okay. Now, this is something new. This is my iPad or my Chromebook or one of my essential tools nowadays for Zoom and Google Docs. So I'm just going to color that in turquoise, blue-green, and I'm going to do my screen black. I was going to do all the icons, but I think that's a different lesson. So there is my iPad. And then, here's my apple, either for my teacher or for snack. So that's red. A little bit of brown, a little bit of green for my leaf, and the last thing, very important, glue stick. So this is my glue stick. Okay? All of these colors you can change. It's up to you. Alright, let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, here is my backpack all colored in. Remember, you can make your objects and all of your backpack materials any colors that you want. Okay, bye-bye.